I'm gonna trade this egg all the way up to one of the brand new Christmas Mega Neon pets. But before that, if you want your own Mega Neon pet, leave a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. All right, so the new Christmas update is officially out in Adopt Me. There's three new pets in this update. I wanna trade an egg all the way up to one of the brand new Mega Neon pets. But first, we have to head over to the event. I don't know exactly how to get there. Okay, I guess we go through the door. I wanna see the new pets and see what I can trade for. So the advent calendar hasn't started yet. But there's a chocolate chip bat dragon, the nutcracker squirrel, and the beluga whale. So our goal is to get one of these pets in mega neon form 24 hours. I'm going to choose a random egg. I guess I'm doing the Aussie egg. That was the first egg on the list. And we're going to make this fun and challenging at the same time. Whatever I get from this Aussie egg, I'm going to have to use that to trade all the way up to one of these mega neon pets. So if I can get a good pet from this... That is gonna make this mission so much easier. So this is where the real challenge starts. Am I gonna be lucky enough? I guess we're gonna find out and see. But before then, drop a like on the video. We need all the egg hatching luck we can get. So drop a like right now, comment good luck. All right, let's go ahead and do this now. Please, let's get something good. A kangaroo or turtle will make this challenge so easy. And yep, this is gonna be really hard. We got the common bandicoot. This is not going to be an easy challenge. Anything but the Bandicoot would have been amazing. All we have to do now is join a rich server and see what we can get. All right, so we're in a rich Adopt Me server. Everyone's at the place right now. So let's see if anyone's going to give me a good trade for this Bandicoot. I don't think I'm going to get anything too crazy, but let's hope and wish we can get a nice little upgrade. But maybe if we're lucky enough, by the end of this video, we'll have a mega version of these pets. And okay, that is not a real trade, so we're going to decline right away. All right, so there we go. This is more of a fair trade. I did not want to take a huge overpay for that. I'll take some fair offers, like a Bandicoot for a Dingo. That's a pretty nice fair upgrade. Like, I'm not trying to get super overpaced. I want to try and make this as legit as possible. Like this, we just traded the Dingo for an English Sheepdog, which is not a bad offer. It's also full grown, so honestly, that's a nice little upgrade. All right, so I thought the Sheepdog was an upgrade, and okay, where's everyone trading at? I think they might be at the cave. All right, I found everyone. Everyone. But what I was saying before, I thought the sheepdog was an upgrade, but I've been trying to trade it for the last 30 minutes. No one wants a sheepdog. But also, I realized they gave me a full-grown sheepdog, so I think I might use that to my advantage and see if anyone wants a full-grown sheepdog. I'm just gonna put in chat trading full-grown sheepdog. No one seems to be interested, so I might have to switch servers again and see if I can find someone. All right, so I've been trading for a while, and this person put a robo dog for the full-grown sheepdog. I couldn't trade this for a while. No one wanted the sheepdog until I started saying it's full grown. Then I actually started getting offers for it. So I guess some people need the full growns. Shout out to K Trevor or Key Trevor for that amazing trade. All right, now we're at the Robo Dog. I don't know if this is an upgrade. So we have a golden egg and a golden griffin. I'm going to hit accept only because of the golden egg. I feel like it's worth it. We're going to trade Jimmy John. I've been stuck at the Robo Dog for a little bit. I've been trading a few people. I think this might be the best trade I'm going to get. Again, I didn't want to do two separate trades, but I feel like I have to. No no one really wanted the robo dog so maybe people want the golden griffin it's a junior and then we have an egg eggs are fun um a red black panther honestly i don't know it's an old pet i'm downgrading from a legendary pet to a black panther oh no i feel like i just made a mistake i already went to the next trade window it does have a ride potion so maybe that helps it out a little bit i might have just downgraded a lot comment down below guys did i downgrade from that trade i think i did all right we have to slowly rebuild from the black panther and this seems like a fair trade all right let's accept this <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking okay so that's obviously an overpay and i don't think it's real so we're gonna decline all right, so I traded this person, and they're putting, like, nine of these chocolate chip bat dragons. Oh, my gosh. Do they have 16? Oh, they probably got enough to make a mega bat dragon. People spectating the trade are putting, like, thumbs up and fire emojis. I don't know. This seems like a fair trade to me. They really do have 16 of them to make a mega. That's really cool. They have so many. But, again, that's not a trade for the Black Panther, so we do have to decline. I feel like the Black Panther was not the best trade, only because it's so hard to trade it now. And I'm trying to get less trades. Oh, wait. Is that a neon? Oh, I thought they were giving me enough for Neon. Then they put a Junior, and there's only three of them. So we are going to have to decline this trade. Honestly, I'll do a Diamond Dragon. I feel like that might be easier to trade than the Black Panther. I don't know if they're going to do it, though. But I feel like this is a fair trade. Ride Black Panther for a Diamond Dragon. I feel like I can get rid of the Diamond Dragon faster if they do the trade. I have been stuck at the Black Panther for way too long. And there we go. We just got the Diamond Dragon from that trade. I feel like this has to be easier to trade. Oh, so we have Scarlet, but they're putting more pets. I kind of want less pets in the trade. It's been really difficult to actually wait. Unless I put four ghosts and I could probably make a Mega. Twinkle. Oh, it's only two ghosts. Wait, but three Neon pets? I don't know. 
That seems like a good offer, but again, I've been having a hard time trading multiple pets, so I'm gonna try and get less pets in the trade. All right, let's see what other offers we can get, and a giraffe. Great, <laughs> that's not a real offer, so we're gonna skip. I don't know if they actually wanna do that trade. All right, that seems like a fair trade. I feel like I might have better luck trading the Capricorn. This was a Robux pet, and it has Fly and Ride. Shout out to them. I don't know how to pronounce their name. I wanna try Noel Red, I think. I hope so. I hope I said it right. If I didn't, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for that trade. All right, so I keep on doing this to myself, but the Capricorn was not the move. I have been trying to trade the Capricorn for about an hour now. No luck. I'm looking around. Everyone has a chocolate chip bat dragon. I really, really want one. I wonder if I can trade the Capricorn for a bat dragon. The only reason I say that is because it is like 1,200 to get the Capricorn from this bundle. And the chocolate chip bat dragon is only 1,000 Robux. So the Capricorn does have a lot of value. I don't know if I'll be able to get a Bat Dragon since they just released. Maybe in a few hours, maybe it's possible. I don't think it might be. So far, I've had awful luck trying to get away from the Capricorn, but we're going to keep on trying. We're going to go to a different server. I've been in this one for like 20 minutes now, 25 minutes or something. I hope I can find somewhere where I can trade. Oh, they offered a Neon Golden Rat. So the problem with the Neon Golden Rats, or the, just the rats in general, is that they're kind of hard to trade. They really have low demand. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to move on from the Neon Golden Rat if they do the trade. I don't know if they're going to do the trade. A lot of people are putting thumbs up. Yo, shout out to M Joker that actually did the trade. So... We're at a Neon Golden Rat. I don't know how I'm going to move from that because I know those are really hard to trade. Okay, so we have a different Neon pet. We have the Neon Phoenix. Okay, so I feel like the Phoenix might be easier to trade if they want to do that way. But I don't know the value of the Phoenix compared to the Golden Rat. Oh, okay, they removed it. Let's see what else we can get. New server with the Neon Golden Rat. Let's see if we can get any trades. We're just putting a chat trading Neon Golden Rat. There's a lot of cool pets in the server, so I'm hopeful that someone here really wants a Neon Golden Rat. It really just takes patience, guys. I know to you guys, it seems like I'm getting trades right away, but honestly, I've been playing Adopt Me for the last three hours trying to get trades since the update came out. I've accepted hundreds of trades already, and I don't show them all because some of them are troll offers, some of them are just like decent offers. I try and show some of my favorite offers, and again... I get a lot of trades where they don't put anything, so I just never show it. It's usually like 30 minutes of me just declining offers with no trade. But eventually, every now and then, I do get an actual offer. But most of the time, it's usually just this. I put my trade, and they usually don't put anything. So let's see what we have here. And oh, they decided to put something and then didn't put anything. Alright, they put a Neon Kitsune, a Fossil Egg, and a Dragon. Not a bad offer. It's another Neon pet, but again, it's three pets. I'm trying to get one single pet, so it's easier for me to trade. I told them I'm trying to get less pets in the offer, but I did thank them for the offer. That's pretty cool of them. They gave me a pretty decent offer. I feel like I've traded this person before. Oh, they put the Mega Bat, but I'm not really looking to get Mega Bats right now. They're a little bit difficult to trade, so I am going to have to pass. All right, let's keep it going. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, there's a Mega Mecha Meow. I need that for another video I'm recording, actually. Spoilers. Oh, wait, a mega chicken. That might be it if it's real. I don't think that's real, though. It's a pretty decent pet, but also it's kind of hard to trade. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like that's not real, but I could also see that being real. I'll hit accept to see what they do. I don't think it's real, though. All right, so they're not hitting accept. I've been here for a little bit. Oh, they want me to add. Unfortunately, I am doing a challenge, so I really can't add. I have to trade the Neon Golden Rat. Oh, wait. Is that real? I don't know if that's real, but also is that under Chocolate Chip Bat Dragons they just released? But I know everyone's getting them already. It's been like four hours since the update. I don't know if they have that strong of a value right now. Oh, they hit accept. I don't know. I could hit accept. I mean, I feel like these will have better trade value. I'm going to hit accept. I feel like I'm making a mistake. Oh, no. I feel like I'm making a mistake. This could be the biggest downgrade ever. Or I don't even know if they're going to hit accept, though. Oh, this could be a really bad downgrade. Oh, I hit accept. I just got two of the new Bat Dragon, but I might have just downgraded. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. What just happened? Guys, comment down below. Was that a good trade or was that a downgrade? I got two of these chocolate chip bat dragons. So I've been taking trades for these bat dragons and I've had some really weird offers. And I know this is a lot of pets. You guys have no idea how many trades I've done, but I think I'm upgrading. I don't know. This is the offer I just got. I feel like it's a decent trade. Oh, someone's saying fishy dome, but this is such a good offer. Someone said big loose. Okay, I'm going to decline. Oh, no. All right, the chat was saying, don't do it and i got pressured into doing it all right so i 
found Ian again. I regretted not doing the trade. I feel like this is a decent trade. A kangaroo has a great trading value. I'm going to do it. Like, they're all saying expired. Guys, I'm not actually declining them. When I'm in trades, it auto declines them. And people always ask me why I'm declining people. I'm not declining anyone. There we go. We traded the two chocolate chip pet dragons. And we got a ton of pets. I said I wasn't going to do this. I wanted less pets. But I don't know. I feel like this was a really good offer. All right. So now that we have all these random pets, I kind of have a plan of what I want to do. I want to see if I can trade all these pets for neon cow i feel like a lot of people have neon cows i always see them i think that might be the game plan for what i'm gonna try and upgrade all these too i don't know if that's gonna work but we're gonna try our best and i don't see any i don't see any neon cows in the server so we're gonna switch again all right another server with my pets so i think it's my turn to start offering for pets now it's gonna be so bad typing all these pets in the chat that i'm trading at the same time so I feel like I need to look for the perfect pet to trade for, and then we're going to go from there. We'll start with the Neon Turtle. I don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to try every single trade we can. Literally, I'm just going to spam my pets fast and see if they decline before then. So I added my six pets. I don't think they're going to do it, but we're going to try it out. Yep, they declined it. I think eventually someone's going to accept my trade. One problem with my server is sometimes they're way too rich, so I can't find the best trades to offer for. I do see a Neon Line, and again... I'm going to start with my best pet. I'm just going to spam them all and hope that they don't decline before I add all six pets. So all six pets are added. We're going to hit accept and see if they accept it. They're probably going to decline it, but it doesn't hurt to try. Oh, they declined it. I do want to try and get a neon cow. I feel like that's going to be my highest chance of getting something, but I don't know. I see a Dalmatian. I have another thing I might do. I'm going to try these five pets and keep my neon lavender dragon and see if this works for a Dalmatian. I feel like the Dalmatians have pretty good trade value. People love Dalmatians, and it's full grown. Let's see if we can downgrade our pets a little bit and get less pets, and that way it's going to be easier to trade. If we get, like, more high-value pets, and they declined it. All right, let's keep going. Someone asked me to rate their drip. I said 10 out of 10. They have the fishy merch. I'm going to give them a random pet just for having the merch. Um, I don't know what's rare. I'll give them a snowball pet. Shout out to that fire drip, not going to lie. It really is. Oh, look, they have the mega chocolate chip pet dragon. That's the goal, guys. That's what I want to get. I might have to switch servers, though. I'm not seeing anything I can trade for here. Okay, so we're in a brand new server now. Let's see if we can find like a neon pet we can trade for or something nice. I see a neon turtle, but they've been in the trade for like five minutes. I've been walking around. All right, so I see a neon elephant. We're going to try this again. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try our best to get this done again we're just gonna spam it and hopefully they accept it eventually someone's gonna want my offer with all these random pets maybe not this person they're maybe thinking about it it's taking them a second to think about it maybe they want it maybe they don't and they declined it all right let's keep on trying we're not giving up all right so i see a hedgehog we're gonna try with the hedgehog they're probably not gonna accept it but it doesn't hurt to try wait what is the hedgehog even worth i remember we used to have so many of them at least i have one and the mega but i used to have a lot more hedgehogs in this I used to have like 13 of them. I have no idea what happened to them. Okay, I don't think they want to do the trade. Yep, they declined it. The goal is to get a neon cow. I don't know if it's going to happen though. Okay, so I've been trading for the last two hours. I have had horrible luck, but that just means the value of the mega pets have decreased a lot since then. I'm still trying to get like a good trade for my pet, but I haven't seen anything good yet. I see a neon turtle that I'm planning to offer for. Let's see if this one works out. Again, I'm just going to start and quickly put the best pets and see if they accept it. I doubt they will. But it doesn't hurt to try. I don't think they're going to do it, but I really, really want to try it out. Maybe it works. Maybe it doesn't. They haven't declined yet, so maybe they do it. There's three people spectating the chat as well, so I don't see them typing anything in chat. I wish I could add more, but this is all I have. I saw something in the background that I wanted to offer for. Oh my gosh, I just declined on the B. I had to decline that. Where did they go? I saw something that I want to offer for. I, I know the prices of the thing I'm trying to offer for has decreased a lot. But I know someone that needs it, so it might be a good trade if I can find it. Wait, what happened, dude? I just saw it. I want you guys to guess what I saw that I want to trade for. I don't see it anymore, but if I see it again, I'll let you guys know. But comment down right now if you guys know what I'm looking for. Where is it? I just... Oh, I see it. All right, so I see a pink egg. They're saying trade an egg. All right, let's start off strong with the Neon Lavender Dragon. We'll do the Kangaroo. We'll do the T-Rex. We'll do the Dodo Bird. We'll do the queen bee, and then we'll do the dragonfly. I'm just going to quickly hit accept. I hope they do it. I know the pink eggs are really hard to trade nowadays. People don't really trade like that anymore for them. Oh, they went to the second trade window. They could be trolling too. I see some people in the trade putting some faces. Like, I don't know if that's bad or good for me, but we'll see what happens. I'm not going to look too... Oh, I was going to say, I was not going to look too desperate to hit accept, but they hit accept before me, and there we go. We just got a pink egg for that. And they're saying thank you, so I feel like we both got a pretty decent trade. 
I can't believe we actually got the pink egg. So I'm extremely happy about this. The pink egg to the right person, this is worth a lot. If you're a collector, pink eggs are kind of hard to get. They're kind of hard to find, but also people don't really trade for them like that. They don't have the craziest values, but some people overpay for the pink eggs. It really does depend on the person. I want to see if I can get a good trade for this. I see someone with a blazing lion. I want to see if I can offer the pink egg for the blazing lion. I don't know if they do it. I feel like they have similar values. I don't know if the blazing lion value has fallen a lot or if it's still high tier, but we're going to try this out. Let's see if we can upgrade from the pink egg to the blazing lion right off the bat. There's a lot of people spectating. I saw a few hundreds in the chat. Oh, they declined it. Okay, we're going to keep on trying. Let's see what else we can find. All right, I want to try the neon turtle again. Let's see if we can get the pink egg for the neon turtle this time. I feel like this is a little bit closer to value than it was before. Oh, they're not putting it in. I feel like they don't want to do it, so we're going to decline. All right, let's keep on trying. Let's see what else we can find around here. All right, it looks like I might have to switch servers again. I need to look for a really, really rich server. Now that I have a pink egg, I feel like I can work with this a little bit. Hopefully, I can find a nice collector. Wait, someone's not going to give you an owl for that fishy. I feel like they're trolling. They're definitely trolling because I don't think it's worth an owl. Definitely not. I'm going to tell them an owl is not worth this. By the way, you can find a better trade. I think they just wanted to trade me, but I'll let them know that if they are really trying to trade it for a pink egg, I feel like they can get better trades. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to take a huge overpay for that. I want to look for a fair or decent trade. In total, it's been about eight hours since the new update came out. We're currently on the pink egg. The problem with this is the pink egg, people really do get stuck with this. People don't really trade for the pink egg. There's nothing really crazy inside the pink egg. It's just a pink cat, which doesn't have the craziest value. So you have to find the right person that wants a pink egg. Usually people do not want to offer for the pink egg. Really, it's not the coolest looking pet. You can just get a regular pet egg and just paint it pink, maybe. So that's one of the reasons it's fallen in price a little bit. And also, no one really wants it unless you're collecting old items like the blue egg, the pink egg, or just trying to get every egg in the game. So you have to find the right person. I think that's why I got a really good deal on it. Or a fair trade, I don't really know. Just because I'm sure that person was having a hard time trading it. But now it's my problem. Now I have the pink egg and I have to find the right person for it. I have to find the collector. I have to find the person that really wants this. I'm going to try and offer for the neon lion here. I had a friend that was looking for a pink egg. I don't know if they're online. That's the problem. If they get on before I trade this pink egg, I think that would be an amazing trade. All right, I see a neon turtle. Let's see if they want to do the neon turtle for the pink egg. Probably not. I don't think they would want a pink egg, but I'm going to try. All right, they haven't declined yet. We've been in this trade window for like a minute or a minute and a half now. So maybe that's a good sign. Maybe they're thinking about it. They haven't put anything in the chat. So as long as they haven't declined yet, I feel like I still have a high chance of getting the neon turtle. Would be an amazing trade, but we have to wait and see what happens. I hope I can get this. All right. So I've been here for three minutes now and they haven't done anything yet. So I'm a little bit confused. Oh, there we go. They finally declined. All right. Let's keep on searching. We need to trade this pink egg. This is not looking good. All right, so just the person I was looking for, they finally got on. She's like, OMG, you found one. So Brit is trying to get every single egg in the game, and it is untouched. I haven't touched it yet. I told them I want a farm egg for it. I feel like this is a decent trade. I love the farm eggs. They have a few of them already. They need a pink egg. They're like, this is painful, but I want it. All right, Brit loves the farm eggs as well, so I can see why this is hard for her, but I feel like we're both winners in this. She gets the pink egg she's been looking for, and I get a farm egg. I get a little bit of an upgrade, I think. It really is pretty. The pink egg is a really nice collector's item. Should I risk it? Wait, should I risk it and open it? What if I get a crow or an owl? Imagine getting that. That would help me complete this challenge so much if I get super lucky. Comment down below, should I open this or if I should keep it? You know what? Let's do a test. I'm going to say I'm going to keep this one. This is not part of the challenge. I'm not going to count this. I'm actually just going to go trade this regular one, but I have an extra one. All right, where's my extra one? Let's take out the extra one. I'm going to open this one up right now. And let's see if I would have counted this part of the challenge. Would I have gotten a crow or an owl from this? I think I'm just going to get like a chicken or whatever you get from the farm eggs. But we're going to do it, guys. We're going to see what if. What would have happened if I actually did this? So drop a like on the video so we get some good luck. Let's see what we get. Please be a legendary pet or else this is a complete waste and oh my gosh we got a silly duck all right so i'm glad this is not the original egg i'm trading this is still here that was just a little test run to see what would have happened all right so with the farm egg i kind of want to try and get a neon turtle i don't see any neon turtle on the server but just in case i'm gonna look around and maybe i can find something else actually i might start taking offers for the farm egg now all right so we have a mega ibex and a neon shark puppy not bad i don't think i would want a neon shark puppy it's not a bad offer, but honestly, I kind of want to go a little more simple. I want like a neon turtle or something like that, even a neon kangaroo. So we're going to have to pass on this one. 
I will keep it in mind though, it's not a bad offer, but not exactly what I'm looking for. All right, someone put an evil unicorn. I feel like that's a troll, especially because they're adding a ton of random pads. I don't think that's a real offer. A mega bee, a neon rat, a fly ride winged horse. I feel like they want me to offer. Oh, they're trying to offer for a parrot. So we're gonna have to decline. We're only trading a farm egg. And once again, I don't know what they're trying to offer for, so we're going to decline. We're only trading the farm egg. I keep on putting in chat, only trading the farm egg, only trade of offering. Oh, and someone threw me all the way down here. But yeah, it's kind of hard to trade sometimes. I get a lot of spam offers that don't read the chat or just want me to offer for their pets. So it's really difficult trading sometimes, but we're going to keep going and hopefully we can find a good trade. All right, so we've been doing this for a while now. I see a lot of people with like the neon chocolate chip bat dragons and all these other bat dragons. You know what I dislike and like about the HO? potions i dislike that it kind of ruined like the new mega neon values usually if you're like a grinder you could get the new pets make it neon and mega fast and then get a really good trade for it that's how i would usually upgrade my inventory but ever since they released the age of potions it's kind of been impossible to do that i see two neon turtles and let's see if they want to do it if not we'll try the other neon turtle i like their outfit it's like a i don't know what that is oh they hit accept actually all right so forget the other trade we might be able to get the neon turtle which is not too much of an upgrade it's just like a small little upgrade and now i want to look for a blazing lion or a neon lion and see if i can do that trade i feel like this could be a nice little upgrade if it happens i don't think they're gonna do it but it doesn't hurt to try Oh, no, they declined it. We're going to keep on looking. All right, so I've been looking at the values and what people are trading the new Megas for, and I could 100% trade the turtle for a Mega Fly Ride Beluga, and they even have to add to get my Neon Turtle. Or I could do a one-for-one -one trade for the Mega Fly Ride Nutcracker Squirrel, but we're so close to the Mega Fly Ride Chocolate Chip Bat Dragon, I wonder if we'll be able to get it. We're doing pretty good. We're at the Neon Turtle. We're just going to put trade if you want to offer for the Neon Turtle. Let's see what happens. First offer, we got a Neon Ride Cow. Oh, they removed it. Okay, so we have nothing again. Okay, Neon Lion, that's exactly what I wanted. I actually wanted a Neon Lion, so if I can get this trade done, it's also Luminous. That would be amazing. Oh, they removed it. They're back with the Neon Cow and the Frost Furies. I kind of wish I got the other one, the Neon Lion. This is not a bad offer, but I don't want Frost Furies at this point. I kind of want like small upgrades that are just one pet, so I'm going to have to pass on this. I told them I'd think about it in case I can't get anything. I could go for the cow. I feel like that has decent value. I am going to thank them for the offer. I really just cannot do this. It's way too many pets to trade eventually. And it's going to take me longer to trade them all. Even if it's like a higher value altogether, it's really not worth it right now. Especially with the time crunch I'm in. I'm trying to do this in 24 hours. And I've already been playing Adopt Me and trading for hours. You guys have no idea. I know the video, it might seem kind of short. Like, oh, this is happening so quickly. But the reality is, I've been playing Adopt Me for like 8, 9 hours straight now. I have seen hundreds of offers, but you guys will only see the accepted offer or some random offers. I don't show everything, but it's been so many hours of trading. And I don't think I can do this trade. It's a big downgrade for me, so I'm going to decline. So there's one pet I really want to trade the Neon Turtle for, just because I feel like it's going to help me trade a lot. It's going to be very, very useful. I want the Blazing Lion. People are always confused about the Blazing Lions and their value. They're kind of hard to trade just because people don't want to trade for them since anyone can still get them. But also, some people think they're still really rare. So the values of that kind of fluctuates a lot. You can probably get a really good trade for it and get one for really cheap as well. It just takes time and patience to trade them. I have like about 14 more hours of trading. So I have a lot of time and effort that I can put into trading a Blazing Lion if I can get one. So that's really my goal. If I can get one for cheap and get a Neon Turtle for it, that would be amazing. Amazing. I had someone offer me the Mega Nutcracker Squirrel for this. And honestly, I think I might actually do it for the Neon Turtle. It's the Mega Nutcracker Squirrel, the new pet. I'm a little bit worried about trading for it since it's been about like 10 hours since the update came out. Everyone has these Mega Pets already. You'll see everyone has like the Neon Beluga Whales and all the Neon new pets already. Like they're so easy to get. So they don't retain their value like they usually do. The problem is if I don't find a trade right away, the value of it could go under my Neon Turtle if I don't trade it super fast. But also... There's a small chance that someone overpays for my Mega Squirrel. I don't know if that's a risk I'm willing to take right now with the Turtle, but I've been looking for the Blazing Lion for a while. That was my game plan, but it looks like it might not happen. I can't find a single one. All right, so I've been looking for the person with the Mega Squirrel, and I found them. I declined it. I had to show the outfit. I only found them because they have a specific outfit that you just can't miss. An hour ago, they were willing to do this trade, 
It's been an hour. I feel like they're a bit more desperate, so I feel like they'll have to do it this time. They're changing their mind. They're gonna change their mind. I'm gonna say if you want, I don't wanna pressure them into doing it. I was hoping this was my way out. I was excited to get the mega pet. The ass if has small ads. I'm gonna say I don't. Sorry. Let's see if they do it. I'm trading up, so I don't know if they're gonna do it. I can't add anything. This is all I have to trade. They just said it's okay. I'm not sure if they mean like it's okay, let's do it, or it's okay, I don't want to do it, but they hit accept, so I assume they want to do it. Please hit accept. And there we go, we got the mega squirrel, finally.